Welcome to Instant Efficiency Series. Branding is very important for the success of your products and services. Branding is visible on visiting cards, product packaging, stationery, website, advertisements and marketing collaterals. Sadly, business documents created in Word, Excel or PowerPoint are not branded at all. This way, we lose branding opportunities every day. In this video, we will see how office tools can help you in better branding and reuse of document content. Standardization of communication involves two aspects. Standardizing the look and feel and reusing content. Look and feel is standardized by using specific colors, fonts and shape effects. All these put together creates a theme. Themes along with formatting create styles. And styles with reusable text create templates. Let us understand how themes are created. Theme contains color theme and font theme. Color theme is a set of 10 colors. These colors must be chosen according to your branding guidelines and saved as a custom theme. Creating a font theme is even easier. Just choose the title font and body font and save them as a custom font theme. The combination of font and color theme is saved as a document theme. Once created, a theme can be used across office documents, which makes them look standardized and professional. Whenever you choose a color, you must decide whether you should use a theme color or a standard color. If you choose a theme color, it will change automatically when the theme or design changes. Standard colors never change unless you change them manually. If a color has a business meaning, you must not use a theme color. For example, danger is always shown in red color. Always use a standard red color. Otherwise, if the theme changes, the red may not remain red. If you combine theme colors and fonts, apply a little bit of more formatting, you can create styles. In fact, Word and Excel provide you with a built-in set of styles. In Word, main topics and subtopics should be applied heading styles. In Excel, you can use styles for identifying normal or abnormal values, calculations or data entry cells, and so on. Now you can create a set of styles and save them as a template. Customized templates can be created for specific business requirements. For example, here is a sales proposal template which provides key headings, table of contents and branding pre-applied. Here is a PowerPoint template which has the right kind of visuals and key slides for you to create content easily. Creating styles and templates is the first step. The second step is to make them available easily for everyone across the organization. So where do you store them? Of course, in a SharePoint document library. All users know how to choose a new template. Simply go to File, New, My Templates and choose the template. How do you make SharePoint templates appear in the My Templates area? This is done quite easily by following these steps. Just share these steps with your IT team. There is some content which needs to be reused across Word documents. This can easily be done by selecting the text and storing it as a building block. Building blocks are stored in a particular file 
called building block dot dot x. Ideally, you should create a single building block file for use across departments and store it on SharePoint centrally. This way, reusable text can be centralized and standardized instantly. Why don't you try this and enhance the branding of your products and services? Do send us your feedback. Thank you.